everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily and my channel focuses on 3D printing, prop making, and other aspects of costume fabrication. Over the past few months, I have been experimenting with Xtool's S1 laser machine trying out different materials and seeing how this laser machine could work for cosplay and prop applications. And today it's finally time for me to give you my full review. Xtool did send me this machine for free to test, but all of the information and opinions in this video, as well as any information I share anywhere else, like my social media, is 100% honest and my own. I'm gonna be covering my personal pros and cons of this machine, what materials it can handle, what kinds of projects I've made with it so far, and what my overall thoughts about this machine are. So if you've been thinking about getting a laser machine for cosplay, for props, for fabrication, stick around for this review video. So first off, this laser, I got it in the 40 watt diode version, but it also comes in a 20 watt version as well as a 1064 nanometer infrared laser version. And these are other modules that you can buy separately and put into the same machine. The 40 watt module that I got is actually one of the most powerful diode lasers that I have seen on the market. So a few other things right off the bat about this laser machine that I want to talk about. When investing in new workshop tools, something that I actually care a lot about is the delivery and how well things are packaged. And I gotta say this was really, really nicely packaged and the setup was really quick. Probably Probably took me like 30 minutes to get everything set up. The instructions were really clear and I would say that even if you have zero experience with laser machines, um, this will be very easy for you to set up. A huge plus of this machine is that it has this built-in eye protection cover, so you don't have to wear anything when using it. Another awesome safety feature is the air assist system. You can set it manually to the amount that you want, but I usually just leave it on auto mode and it works great. When you're cutting materials, there's going to be little particulates, smoke, etc. And what the air assist system does is that it sucks the air out from the inside of the laser machine and it goes right out this exhaust tube. And I have mine set up with just a piece of plywood that I cut a hole into so that it fits really flush into the window and no fumes can get back inside my workshop. There's also an emergency shutoff feature, which is this button over here on the side. And also the machine will not operate if that safety shield is not fully closed. Overall, I just feel like the safety measures are really thoughtful and that is one thing that I think makes this machine good for beginners. Okay, so let's talk about the actual software that you are going to have to use in order to operate this machine. The program you're gonna have to download is Xtool Creative Space. What you have here is just your workspace. And this is basically reflecting just a top-down view of the working area inside the S1. This laser machine does not have a camera, but honestly, I have not once found myself wishing it did. And I'll show you why in a second, but the marking is super easy to use, very easy to kind of mark out where your material is inside the machine. So as a test to show you guys, I'm going to be using these little metal dog tags and these came with the machine. All of the machines come with a bunch of different test materials for you to play around with. And so I'm just gonna show you guys real quick some engraving on these metal tags. What I'm gonna do here is just go inside the laser machine, gently move the laser module, make sure to watch your fingers, you don't wanna get pinched or anything, and bring it so that this little red laser X is right on top of our material. Now let's go into Xtool Creative Space and press that little auto distance icon. And as you can see, the module is measuring how close the material is to the laser. And then it's just retracting the arm. The next thing we have to do is to mark how large and where the object is and what shape it is. So how we're gonna do that is go and press the start marking button. And as you can see, there are a bunch of different shape options for you to tell the machine where the object is. Obviously, I'm gonna use a circle. And all we have to do for the circle is mark three points along the perimeter of the tag. So I'm just gonna move the red laser X to one point along the edge, press the button, move it to another point, press the button, and one more time, move it to a third point along the perimeter and press the button. And then go into creative space and press end marking. So now the program knows exactly where and how large the tag is. So my dog's name is Ghost and I want to engrave this tag with a picture on one side and his name on the other. And now we just have to set the power, speed, and number of passes. Something I found really helpful is if you go to the Xtool website, they have a page that lists a bunch of compatible materials and what settings you should use. So this is of course the S1 machine and this is a stainless steel tag. So with that information, the site is telling me to use 80% power 
220 millimeters per second for the speed and one pass. So I'm going back to creative space now and I'm just gonna input those values over here. Now we can just click the process button, click start, and then hit the button on the machine itself to process it. And there you have it, this is all done. I can open it up and check out the engraving. This image came out beautifully. Now I've just remarked this and I'm going to put some text on the other side. And once again, I'm going to engrave it with those same values, 80% power, 220 millimeters per second for the speed and one pass. And this time I'm gonna time it so you can see how fast this is. This laser can operate up to 600 millimeters per second, but of course, as you saw, we have this one set to 220. Okay, the stopwatch says 28 seconds. I stopped this like a tad late, so we'll call it 27 seconds. This is a pretty small engraving, but this was super fast. And once again, it came out really, really nice. Now I'm just gonna show you some other materials that I've used in this machine and what the results were like. First up, wood is probably my favorite thing to use. I made these fake Beskar blocks and the machine did a great job of cutting and engraving. Another fun thing you can do is actually food. This is a Nilla wafer. Important note, this is actually not technically food grade anymore because I've used the machine for other non-food materials. So if you are intending to actually eat your creations, make sure to either use a brand new machine or have a machine specifically for food. EVA foam is a fantastic material if you are a cosplayer or a costume maker like me. I made this Batgirl Cassie Kane cowl and I cut all of my pieces from six millimeter foam using the laser machine. It works great and the seams were so clean. Also paper, I cut out some cute little paper ghosts from cardstock, and you can also do this with different kinds of paper as well as vinyl. And you can also use this for acrylic. I cut an engraved translucent red acrylic for my Sith Holocron project and it worked perfectly. Okay, quick little note about acrylic though. So remember how I mentioned earlier that this is a blue light diode laser. This is important because this type of laser cannot cut blue materials like blue acrylic. And this is because the wavelength of the light that's being shot into the material is the same as the material. So the energy is not absorbed, it's passed right through. And what you end up with is kind of a weird melty mess on the bottom of your acrylic. It doesn't cut well, it doesn't engrave well. And this is the same case as clear acrylic. And I have found that it will work with other acrylic colors. It'll work really well if they're opaque, but the more transparent your colors become, the more issues you're gonna have with cutting. Aside from those materials, you can cut stone, paper and vinyl, fabric, metal. I was playing around with it and I did actually manage to cut some shapes out of coins. I was using pennies. It did take quite a bit of power and a few passes, but I was able to cut some shapes out of it. So that's pretty cool. Generally people say you can't really cut metal with a diode laser, but with the 40 watt module, I've seen people cut metals up to a millimeter thick. Okay, so now to wrap it all up, I'm gonna talk overall the big pros and cons of this machine, in my opinion. Number one, awesome power with the 40 watt module. And it's really cool Cool that you can interchange the modules. Super easy to set up. Um, for me, that's a huge plus that you can get it out of the box and get it running in like an hour tops. Xtool Creative Space is really easy to use. It's very intuitive. Safety. Once again, that built-in eye protection is awesome. The air assist system works great. I think when dealing with laser machines, safety is probably the number one concern. And so this is definitely a machine that I would feel comfortable personally recommending to a beginner. And it's really fast. Okay, now on to the cons. Like I was talking about earlier, you have to set it up in a particular way because the exhaust comes out closer to one side and you have to kind of set it up by a window. You have to have a table for it. But honestly, that's gonna be with any laser machine. It's gonna be big, it's gonna take up a lot of room. And like I said, this machine has a really big working area. So I think that's kind of a trade-off. You could get a smaller machine like a Glowforge, but you're just not gonna have as much area to work with. The only firmware or software problems that I had were with that 
USB connection being a little bit finicky. But again, that's only happened to me a couple times and I don't think it's a huge deal. It's just a little bit annoying. One other thing is that it's a little bit loud, but once again, this is gonna be the case with any laser machine. It's gonna make noise, especially if you're like me and you've done a lot of 3D printing before, it's probably not gonna bother you that much. But if you're not used to it, it's definitely something to consider. And lastly, of course, this is really important. It is expensive. It's about $2,200 for the whole bundle, but laser machines are expensive. You know, this is not a crazy outlandish price for what you're getting as far as the laser machine market goes. It's not as expensive though as a CO2 machine. So I would actually suggest if you're kind of on the fence, you just wanna get a really powerful machine just to do at home craft hobby stuff. I would definitely recommend considering the S1. At this point, like for my own uses, I don't really see the need to get a CO2 laser. I might if I had gotten a less powerful machine from a different company or another one of Xtool's machines, but with the S1, I can do like 99% of the things that I personally wanna do. So for me, this price would be a good investment. All right, guys, that's it. That's my full review of the S1. Please leave any questions down in the comments and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you guys again for watching and happy crafting.